<laughs> Look at Leo standing behind me. What are you doing, silly puppy? I am freed from my ignorance. Those are the words from Mary's Gospel. I am freed from that which oppressed me. That which oppressed me has been slain. That which encircled me has vanished. I don't know about you, but to me, that sounds like salvation. I find this entire conversation, which is part of Mary's vision, extremely intriguing. The soul's conversation with craving, and in the gospel, craving is capitalized. The soul's conversation with craving ends with great rejoicing, and the rejoicing marks the soul's ascension to the third climate. And this is where the soul meets ignorance. And then on page 16, the soul is freed from this climate marked by ignorance and ascends to the fourth climate. And in the fourth climate, wrath is described as having seven manifestations. Jealousy, craving, ignorance, lethal jealousy, enslavement to the body, and two different types of wisdom. Intoxicated wisdom and guileful wisdom. The seven manifestations of wrath oppress the spirit with questions. Where did you come from? Where are you going? And the soul replies, I am free. I have found my salvation. As much as I want to dig into these manifestations and these questions, something inside of me just does not feel ready. Instead, I guess my mind is practicing Sankofa. It keeps looking back and remembering Mary's original question. Way back on page 10, Mary enters into this vision and this is where she encounters the resurrected Jesus, who she refers to as teacher. And she asks her teacher, she says, how does this happen? How does a flesh and blood human enter into this kind of vision? How is it possible that I am seeing the resurrected Jesus? What part of my body, what part of my being human, what part of my physical being am I using? Is it my soul? Is it my spirit? Is it my psyche? Is it my pneuma? And the teacher answered, neither. There is a noose in between the two. It is the noose which sees the vision. It is the noose which dot, 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 and there goes the rest of the teaching. Now, I have to confess that in my context, in my own place of learning and being, I struggle with that word noose. I understand it's French. I understand it is spelled N-O-U-S. I understand it's a word chosen to be used by Jean Ives Saint um, Le Loup in his translation of Mary's Gospel. Le Loup is French, Noose is French, but to these Eurocentric ears, sounds too much like Noose, N-O-O-S-E. And it makes me uncomfortable. So I began to wonder, what else might we call this? What other word might we use to describe this mysterious part of our being which allows us into seeing differently? 
this mysterious part of ourselves which allows us to enter into a different way of knowing this other way of being human you see I'm familiar with the concept of my body my soul and my spirit and I also know about my five senses but this noose n-o-u-s noose sounds like an entirely different dimension a dimension which I've not been taught about, a dimension which I've not been encouraged to explore by my faith tradition. So those are my questions. What is this noose? How else might we describe it? I guess my questions are really the same as Mary's questions.